Funk in uh, Bristol in the UK. And like my tour manager, he's got this big beard and like tattoos and stuff. I'm like, I'm sleeping. And he opens the bunk and he's like, Rah! Oh my God. I got up in my bunk, like freaked out. He's like, you got a Grammy nomination. And I was so tired. So I was like, ah, cool. And I thought it was a dream. And I woke up like three hours later and he goes, Rah! you got five. I'm like, it, 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 was, it was crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I didn't get to, like, I, I don't even think I've fully reflected on what that means yet. Yeah. Right now, but. I told you not to do anything interesting while we weren't rolling camera. <laughs> now, exactly. like, yeah. now it's all out, you yeah. know. Well, uh, we're all so happy for you, and uh, it's going to be an amazing night at the Grammys. Um, but to go further now with you on this project, um, talk about how you came on board and why you chose the doors to collaborate with. Well, I mean, it was, it was, uh, first it was Richard Bishop, you know, who contacted me and my manager, Tim, and, you know, presented this whole idea. And then, uh, it was actually, obviously, first, you guys were involved in the premiere and Pretty Lights, and it was, yeah, 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 and, like, it, it was a really cool idea, and the whole thing with me was, like, in the beginning, the door thing was, was up in the air, and I was, I was nervous to, like, commit to something if I didn't feel like I'd have a real connection with it. That was like my, in my heart, my, my real pick, you know, because of course you have a, a wish list of a certain amount of people because you don't know who's going to be able to show up or not. And that was the, the most personal and, and special thing to me with, with The Doors because I grew up listening to, you know, the, the, the first recollection of anything musical was, was The Doors in my life. So it's cool to like come full, full circle and actually have that a reality. So, you know, that was the main thing. It's interesting because it really comes through in the film that, I don't know if it's your personality or, you know, just that you have a gift as a producer, but it seemed like it was almost effortless, like you really got on with them right away. Well, I mean, hopefully, like, any, any collaboration I've ever done has been like, you know, you, you have to have trust and faith in the person you're collaborating with because, you know, musical music is, 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 a, is a real intimate thing. And if you're doing it with someone else, and you you have to have trust in that other person and, and, and or the other artist or group, and hopefully the other artist group has, has trust and, and, and faith in you, and it's, 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 you can soul with each other, you know, <clears throat> rather than having someone that's babysitting you or the other way around. I don't want to do a collaboration if I'm telling someone what to do and vice versa, but if you can be vulnerable for a second and sit back and let them do what they do and then vice versa, that, those are the most special products in the end of the day, so that's... That's what exa exactly what happened with. Well, you know, guys. also you're kind of dealing with all the drama of that band because I noticed they came on separate days, two members of Doors, and then John Densmore came the next day. There's an interesting moment in the film where you're very straight up with, I believe it's John Densmore, yeah, yeah. and you're like, listen, I don't want to do this if you don't want to do this. You know, you're very honest about the process with him. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I don't do anything if I don't want to do it, you know, so. And I don't want to do anything with anybody else that they don't want to do either. And, like, there's a whole documentary behind this and cameras and all that stuff. But, like, I, you know, and I, and I think, which, which I, you know, faith of, of the whole production team, which is an amazing team and did a great job, you know, all that aside, it's like, at the end of the day, let's make a great record, you know. Yeah. And, like, and I told him, like, get the cameras out of the room for a second. Let's talk about this, like. Let's, let's do a great record. I think we can do something awesome. I think I think John's thing in the beginning is, is you know, electronic music, you know, um, which he is actually very familiar with more than I thought. Is um, a lot of times drummers have uh, uh, reservations about doing stuff because it's you know, but we we got incredible incredible tracks out of the drums and, and we did a really cool thing. Well, also, how many years had it been since really they had come together on a track? 30 years since American Prayer, I believe, yeah. It's crazy. crazy. I, I, I didn't know that, though, until afterwards. I'm glad I didn't, because I wouldn't have. <laughs> so, like, there was some pressure. <laughs> well, it, you, know, you know, it really feels like, from the film, that you enjoyed the process, and it yeah. was, you know, terrific results. Um, Crystal Method, now, you guys had more of a challenge, somewhat. Uh, you went to Detroit. You're with Martha and the Funk Brothers.